Well, good afternoon, everyone. Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Welcome back. And if this is your first time, thanks for stopping by. Really excited about today's video. We're gonna be doing the unboxing and review of the ASI 1600 GT camera. Now this camera is on loan to me from Agena Astro. And if you haven't shopped with Agena Astro before, you should definitely check them out. Been doing business with them now since I started the hobby and they always have fast, courteous service and a great selection of astrophotography gear. Now in addition, I'll be providing a link in the description below to this camera from Agena Astro. And if you use the promo code AVAGT, you will receive 10% off this camera. Now this discount is only gonna be available for the first two weeks when this video is debuted. And after that, it'll drop to 5%. And I don't know how much longer they'll keep the discount going after that. So take advantage of this great deal while you can. Now onto the unboxing. What you have here is a dedicated monochrome 16.4 megapixel camera fourth with a four third sensor. It comes with a USB type B cable to connect the guide camera to the imaging camera as a powering source. It comes with an additional cable, USB type B, uh, just in case you need it for another one. There's also some adapters and filters in here and extension tubes that will help get you to the right back focus. And it also comes with some mounting screws and filter masks if you should choose to use the 31 millimeter filters as opposed to the one and a quarter inch filters. These are the two extension tubes that come with the camera. They're an M42 to M48 adapter. This one's the 12 millimeter and then an M42 to M48, 16 and a half millimeter. It also comes with a USB 3.0 cable for linking up the imaging camera directly to your PC. Now let's take a look at the camera. And here we have it. This is the Zen WO ASI 1600 GT camera. Now before we get into the nuts and bolts of this camera, let's talk about why you would even consider this camera as opposed to other cameras in its class or even the previous generation model. Now there are several things that I would consider to be significant changes that have taken place with this camera, the ASI 1600 GT, when compared to its previous generation cameras. Both cameras use the same 16.4 Panasonic megapixel sensor. The camera also features a USB hub built into the camera just like in the previous model. But that's where the similarities end. The most obvious change, of course, is the integrated five position filter wheel that's integrated into this camera, which is not only an added convenience, but it also streamlines this camera and makes it a lower profile than having the camera, the previous generation camera with an added on electronic filter wheel. We all know when it comes to back focus and imaging, every millimeter counts. So that's an important feature upgrade to this camera. Then another thing you'll notice on the camera is an absence of a desiccant chamber. Now, at first glance, that might seem like a shortcoming, but I can tell you firsthand with this camera, and I've, I've cheated, I've already done a, a test run with this camera just to see how it would do. And I can tell you firsthand that it has no fog or dew issues on the sensor. Whatever engineering ZenW has done on this camera to ensure that that is not an issue, they've done a fantastic job with that. And uh, in a, the climate that I live in, humidity is always an issue and it's always very high. So if I can image with this camera and not have sensor fog issues, then I'm pretty sure you can too. So that is an excellent feature of this camera. No need for dew heater strips on the sensor, no need for, for fiddling with desiccant chambers and desiccant and waiting for the fog to go away. That's a thing of the past. So another awesome feature of this camera. Now the cooling capabilities of this camera have also been improved. So what that means to you is quicker cool down times. I've been running this camera the two times I've taken it out at minus 15 degrees Celsius and that was starting at an ambient temperature of around 25 to 27 degrees Celsius, and it took around seven, eight minutes to get it to operating imaging temp. That's pretty darn quick, and an improvement over previous models from what I understand. Now the camera, while being solidly built in aircraft grade aluminum, is surprisingly light. 
and comes in at one pound 13 ounces, just under two pounds. And that is with the one and a quarter inch filters already mounted inside the camera. So this camera would do well, even on modest focusers, you know, something from GSO that's, you know, standard, uh, not necessarily requiring a high-end focuser that can handle heavier weighted cameras, uh, like a feather touch or such. So mounting configurations will vary depending on your imaging rig, but the included spacers, M42 to M48, the 12 and a half, and the 12 millimeter and 16 millimeter spacers should get you to your back focus requirement especially if you're just putting this on a refractor with no reducers or anything you can literally just screw on the two adapters together put them into the refractor tighten it down and you're good to go now of course not everyone's imaging rig is set up that way and mine certainly will not be and in a future video we'll be going over the Zen WO OAG that I'll be pairing with this camera as well but I can tell you from having tested out this setup that I had no issues achieving the correct back focus with this camera now this camera's pixel size comes in right at 3.8 microns and that's similar to a lot of digital SLRs out there now what that means to you as an imager is that it can be is suitable for a wide range of focal lengths anything from wide angle 60 70 80 millimeter refractors all the way up to I'd say 1200 millimeter Newtonians you could even push this further uh, you know for instance I have an 8 inch RC that has 1600 millimeter focal length and I can tell you from preliminary uh, shots that I've taken that this camera handles that quite well and you'll still get really good results while you all you will have to cope with some oversampling at that focal length if you're around the anything less than 1200 millimeter focal length this camera will suit you well and that covers such a wide range of scopes already now those of you who are familiar with the quality of the ASI 1600 mono camera already know how incredible this camera is and if you aren't familiar with this camera or the sensor that's in this camera I highly recommend going to a site like Astrobin over here and just do a search, do a quick search on ASI 1600 mono or MM and prepare to be wowed by the quality of images people have taken with this camera sensor. So what ZenWO has done here is they've taken an already awesome camera, made it better by streamlining its fit, integrating a filter wheel system, improving the cooling capabilities of this camera, and probably and the most important one to me, eliminating sensor fog or dew issues and what you're left with is an incredible dedicated mono camera that can hold its own to cameras twice its price or more now you may be asking yourself you know what are some of the cons of this camera and as with any astronomy gear you know we can nitpick every little thing about this type of gear everything has its pros and cons but honestly i cannot think of anything that i don't like about this camera it's low profile, it has an excellent sensor, it cools down quickly, efficiently, it holds temp, doesn't vacillate, um, and I know I can expect some awesome images to come from this, so I really can't think of anything that would be considered a shortcoming for this camera. Now on pretty much all other online retailers, this camera retails for $1,780 US dollars, but if you use the promo code AVAGT, go to the link below or go to Agena Astro, use that promo code, you'll receive 10% off of this camera, which makes it a tremendous value, and that extra savings could be put towards some LRGB filters or other accessories. Now, if you have any other questions about this camera or any other gear that I use in my astrophotography sessions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll be more than glad to, to answer as best I can. Also stay tuned because in the coming weeks and even months, I'm gonna be doing a lot of imaging with this camera and going over different configurations, results, tips, how-tos, tips on what to do, what not to do when using the ASI 1600 GT camera. Well guys, that concludes the review and unboxing of the ASI 1600 GT. If you're interested in the gear I use for astrophotography and other helpful astrophotography items, I've put some links in the description below that'll get you started on the right foot. And as always, thanks for watching, and clear skies.